Fairfax wants 100 million. The mags make 20 million a year. So on a cost to profit basis, it's a bargain. We get our money back in five years. We want a revolution at Women's Day, an entirely new product. So, who do we get to run them? New Idea is now the dominant market leader in Australia. This person has worked tirelessly at an impressive level. Mr. John Hall. You're a piece of work. Is the show finished? I can't work for you anymore. We need someone new, someone at the top of their game. In the golden years of the Glossies, a war was waged to reach number one. Do you think you could compete with Dulcie Bowling? Compete? I'll do more than that. No story was off limits. I want you to get into the parties, no one else can. I want you to get the shots, no one else can. All the stars, all the stories, I'll put you over the top. Bit against her. The problem never get it, pack her as deeper pockets. I don't care. Drive a price up. And the boundaries were stretched like never before. This is out of control. When have people ever seen a topless royal? Yeah, what if they don't want to see one? I sure as hell don't. At least, not this one. What is he doing to her feet? Very beginning of celebrity power, Princess Di and the paparazzi. Two media moguls fought for supremacy. You have to spend money to make money. And at the centre of it all were two remarkable Aussie women. I love the smell of magazines. <laughs> Paper Giants Magazine Wars starts Sunday, June 2nd on ABC One.